which is the, the slice. So I want the thatch to hang down to about here. So I'm just going to start with a small little hole like that. Okay. And then I get the small little handful of straw. Like so. You do that to shake out the small short bits. You got nice long straw. Then you make a wangle, which is just a knot in the top of the straw. And that's the piece that goes into the roof. Alright, like so. Trust it, wrap it in. Push it up the roof. Next one goes in beside it. Again, another handful. So you can see how it's, it's, it's a very good system for patching. That is all shaved off afterwards. Pair it down. Then to get up over that. Go up about four inches above that. And start another hole. And the same crack again. So that shakes out the short bits. And you're left with nice long wheat. The secret really is, Bob, not to not to make this wangle too big, you know, about the size of a golf ball. Otherwise it'll be too thick to go into the roof. So it's thrust in over that. So you get the effect now. And another one inside that. What you're probably not seeing here is afterwards. Um, it's one of the type of patching methods you usually wet this down and then you beat it down with a stick and it's combed out as well and then clipped up with the other method of patching with the scallops it's slightly different I'll just show you an example what you might do if you're using a different method it's almost like tucking into the roof these it's just a different way I won't use this so I want it to finish there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this over into a kind of a knuckle I'm gonna tuck it in like so and the way to fix it down is with the hazel scallop so you can see it like that So it's another method of patching as well. Um, so there's two or three different ways. Hi Thomas. You notice when I drive them upwards, if you drive them down, if the rain gets into them, it'll follow it into the roof. So perpendicular with the roof. So that's two different two different methods of doing it. I kind of prefer the old way like this for um, for patching.
right. Pick this up. What's that tool in your pouch? Oh, sorry, that's just a knife. Um, that's your cutting knife. Yeah. And do you have to sharpen it? Uh, I do. Yeah. Well, every just, every day. Yeah, every yeah. day. Because sometimes the scallops are a bit thick. Uh huh. You might have to. Uh huh. Them down. Uh huh. Okay. And so you never cut the catch. No, not really. Now there yeah. is again up in Leitrim and some of the northern counties. If they have just the butts of the straw down, uh -huh. what they'll do is they'll pare it down like that. Okay. Okay, and you can see the oval shape there uh -huh. at the end. Uh -huh. What I yeah. normally do, yep. Yeah. What I'd normally do then with this <laughs> is you could put a scallop across it uh -huh. and put it down and bits that are sticking up then. It's a CK. <laughs> German mate, you can trim it up like uh -huh. so. Okay. Same oh, thing. Just, yes. Looks Same faster. Um, this would have been the older version of the shears, the hand shears uh -huh. or the sheep shears uh, for cutting the eaves. So not that. many tools. No, no, not many no, tools. No, no tool pouch. No. With, no. with that system there, they used to make them out of sticks as well, uh -huh. so you wouldn't need to. Not a good idea, you know. um, the other thing about the scallops is when you're pointing them, it really only needs three cuts to get a point on them. It's sharp enough. Yeah, yeah. That looks sharp. So people who make these, I don't really make them, I can buy them in like that. But you could make about a thousand of them a day. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. Why um, buy them? Yeah, I mean, when I've got a wet day, I'm generally making up some. A wet day? Yeah. I love the wet days. <laughs> they're, the, they're the wet days, <laughs> that's what you do. So if you want to see them twisting again, it's just giving it a nice, nice twist. And again, you can see that they're they're covered. Uh -huh. They're hidden by the, the next layer of straw. And that's it.